Where is Guma Aguiar and what happened to the wealthy businessman seen here in this promotional video? His 31-foot boat washed ashore on Fort Lauderdale Beach. It was discovered at 1 o'clock Wednesday morning, but he wasn't on board, and now detectives are puzzled. I want to stress this is extremely strange because the fact that the gentleman would get onto his boat and decide to go out into such treacherous seas where there was such inclement weather and such strong uh, riptide currents it, it doesn't make sense to us. Fort Lauderdale detectives are trying to figure out what led the 35-year-old to board the boat during the stormy weather Tuesday night from his Fort Lauderdale home. Oh, why he went out, I do not know. Rabbi Moshe Lipsick is a close family friend of the Aguiars. We're praying, we're, everybody's praying for him, that everything should be well and we should find him safe and secure. Here's what we know about Aguiar. The businessman made his millions from his oil and gas company. And he's had several run-ins with the law, including in June 2011 when he was arrested for stalking and harassing a woman. Rabbi Lipsick says he donated a lot of money to the Jewish community. In this video, he's seen talking about a project he and his wife funded in Jerusalem. The U.S. Coast Guard searched the water and police officers scoured the beach on ATVs, but still no sign of him. That connects the two motors. So. Back at the Sito warehouse where his boat is being held, Gregory Malik showed us how a rod that holds the two engines together broke off. When a tie rod does break, there is a possibility that, uh, you know, the, the vessel will change direction pretty abruptly and if that happens you know you could lose balance fall overboard